Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we jump on this Humvee and keep rolling with that thing, something did come in for the Jeep. There's some Fox 2.0s. I bought all four of them, but only two of them showed up for some reason. I got them from CJ Pony Parts. They're expensive, but you know what? These are gonna be worth it. I do not like those pro comps that are on that Jeep. So before we get started with the Humvee today, we're gonna swap these out, obviously just the rears because I don't have the fronts yet. So once we do that, we'll jump right onto the Humvee. Piece of cake, right? Let's go. guys look we got delivered transmission cooler for the Allison it's gonna be a remote transfer or transmission cooler uh, this is the relay for it I got both of these off Amazon um, kind of took me a while to find this man I have not even opened this yet but there's a ton of them out there there's a million of them but I wanted ones that had a a 10a fitting and B you were able to mount kind of it need I wanted bolts to be able to mount this way and a lot of these coolers they mounted vertically and I was like I don't I would have to custom make a bracket and all this stuff so I was like well if I can find one that has a plate that I can like mount it like this against something flat that's what I wanted so this is what I got literally haven't even opened this sweet hey do you guys know if this is five eighths is that what they use for the cooler lines hmm. I have to look it up. I don't know why this doesn't say what's up. Maybe 916. Sweet. All right. Perfect. So you guys see right here, it's got mounting points and mounting points right here. That's what I dug and dug and dug for. Because every other one on there, I mean, I look eBay, Amazon, all over the internet, and the rest of them would mount like up here and down here would be the mount. This one comes with a fan already attached. Here's the wires. You run your relay and boom, easy peasy, man. And yeah, this is a very nice little cooler and this will absolutely keep that Allison cool. Looks great. So guys, tell me where you think I should mount this. This was my idea, was to put it right here. This is right here in the back. It will get airflow down here. On the bottom, it won't get a, a ton because the top might be just, I mean, just a couple inches. Man, look how dusty this Humvee is. <laughs> um, so this is what I was kind of thinking of. But let me know. And then just run the lines straight up and over. The top here and straight over the tier to the right side of the transmission. Also, guys, this was about right at $200 for everything. Comes with, I'm, I'm obviously going to need more line than this if I run it that far back. But the relay was like 20 bucks. I think the fan was 178 or something like that. 178 bucks. Then after tax and everything, it was just maybe barely over $200 for the whole setup. It also comes with this hardware kit. I mean, this thing's probably got, man, that's a lot of fittings. Comes with some wire stuff. Brass fittings. 
bolts, hose clamps. Those look like plastic fittings. I bet it is plastic that goes on top. Um, electrical. 10A in fitting. 10A in fitting. Cool. Well, I'm pretty sure it said 10 a in on the thing, but this is an 8 a in fitting. Hmm. 5 eighths mill adapter. Huh. Well, I can still, because the line that's going to come out of the transmission is going to be a 10 a in. Well, I guess I could just drop it and put a smaller fitting on the cooler side and still run the 10 a in fitting on the transmission and run these 8 a in fitting fittings on the cooler. Yeah, I guess it could still work. These do have the O-ring. O-ring. These are metal. I, they felt like plastic. So it does come with this. This is an inline thermostat, which you can just run some wire from it and it'll give you a temperature reading to a gauge. However, I mean, the Duramax is gonna already have, you know, like <laughs> it's already gonna know what temperature the, the computer's gonna know what temperature the transmission is. So uh, I might just go ahead and install this. That way it's there if I need it, I could use it. And if not, I won't. So here's the different ways you can do it. You can not use any thermostat and just put the A and A and fitting right in there, or you can use it with the adapter, which is the one I'm doing, or you can put it out here with the hose and then just, I guess if you needed room or may had to make it longer, you can use number three. So either one of these is acceptable. I will just put it on there just in case I need it. So that's what I used right there. I just called CJ and the other box with the other shocks is out on the truck for delivery with FedEx. So went ahead and whipped the Jeep around, pulled off the fenders or the inner fenders. And uh, yeah, those are gonna be easy. I'm gonna go ahead and bust those shocks loose. That way when the truck shows up, slap the new ones on and get back on this bad boy. Dude, look at that. The top of that shock is bent. And this is gonna take nine years to get off. Open in wrench and that nut up there. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, this is gonna take all day just because of this plastic box. Well, the fronts are out. You know, the rears are already done. These things look like trash. This thing's never been up north. This was totaled in Georgia, the Jeep was, even though it went to Copart in Missouri, where I went and picked it up. So it's always been in Georgia. I mean, we don't really have salt down here. Not much. Every occasionally. But what the heck, Pro Comp? guys it is the next morning and we're going to pop these transmission adapters the stock ones off of here and go ahead and put it on our 10 a.m fittings And 
here's the 10 AN fittings, and they do have a new rubber O ring right there. So here's a 90, 10 AN 90 fitting. I got this on Amazon. I got these on Amazon as well. All you have to do is just punch in, just go to Amazon, punch in Allison transmission AN fittings. These will pop up. And here's the 90, which I'm gonna end up putting them right here to get the lines facing, running back this direction. So but before I do that, I'm gonna throw a little thread sealer right here on them and then go ahead and put these on and those will look perfect in there and they fit perfect see that that's awesome Let's put them on So guys, right here, I went digging around at O'Reilly and I found this radiator hose. Who knows what it's off of? Um, I don't know what car it actually fit, but I just took my old one there and just started matching some of them up to try to get something that works. This still might not be 100%, but I'm gonna at least see just because it's so, I mean, it's right here is where it's about to rub. But I'm gonna put it up here and see what it does. So I can always keep my eye out and keep looking for more, so. Let's go ahead and put this one on and see how it fits. I'm gonna get a new one of those. That one's just not gonna work. I'm gonna take down my old one again, see what I can come up with. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put the Duramax drive shaft connected up. Go ahead and put the universal joint on here. Uh, this one's still in really good condition. Took it apart, looks really good. Um, I'm gonna put a big piece of steel up there to move the carrier bearing down. So let's just see if this even works up. But first and first, I gotta connect these two. I just pulled these off the old Humvee drive shaft because I have to use it because this is still from the Humvee and this has the snap ring that's on the outside. So with that being said, I got to use the carrier or the carrier bearing. I got to use the, um, all the needle bearings and the cap that fits this one originally. So it'll fit on the Duramax one. That part's still the same. But I'm going to go put the seals on the inside right here. Then we can put on the other one. Nope, does not fit. So that being said, I'm gonna have to pull this U-joint out and use the Humvee one. And take, yeah, take this one out, use the Humvee one and put them both back together. Cause this will not fit. Two different U-joints with these caps.
Dude, so many needle bearings. They just look really gunked up in here from the original Humvee here, but I'm gonna clean them all up. That'll be fun. And clean up time. So after doing some research, and I'm kind of was overthinking this. So this front drive shaft has the place where you actually put the snap ring on top. The Duramax front actually uses what's called a plastic infused slip yoke or universal joint. So you basically have to melt this piece of plastic on the side to get this out. And I'm sitting here thinking like, I don't need to do that. These are the exact same size. This is the one that came out of the Humvee. I mean, it has no wear on this thing. Look how good this still looks where the needle bearings go around. So these are the exact same size. And I was overthinking this. Like, I'm going to have to get new caps. I don't know what cap to get. It's going to be different than these. Then I'm like, wait a minute. I'll just use the caps. Keep this universal joint and use the caps from the Humvee to put back in this drive shaft. That way I can use a snap ring to keep it in. Cause this one is good to go. Like there's nothing wrong with this one. So that's the plan now. I'm just gonna put this drive shaft on this universal joint and put the caps in. Way dumb it down. I was sitting here way, way overthinking this thing. Cause I'm like, it's not gonna match up. No matter what I do, it's not gonna match. And then I'm like, how about I just use the Humvee caps? Ha! I went ahead and Put all the needle bearings back in, all four of them, which I'm only going to use two of these. But went ahead and cleaned it up as best I could on this one. Put new grease in them. Um, yeah, I guess I can just find the best two I got it out of this and then just use those two. Uh, use these on it. Two of these good ones. And that's garbage. That's garbage. And yeah, let's just go from there. All right, this is the Duramax one originally. Now going back and measuring, it is one one hundredth difference. And check this out. Humvee cap, Duramax sealed U joint. Does not go. Will not fit. Then you go over here, grab the Duramax one that came on it. I mean, easy peasy. I don't know what to do. I guess this will have to be replaced. Womp womp. Well, I tried. So I haven't done any research on this, but I'm assuming that this is 1350s maybe, and the Humvee is 1330s. That could be why. This is the Duramax original. You guys can't see it, let me roll it. 0.065. 0 0.065. Humvee. I can actually get it go down to four, but it pops back up to five. So I don't know why it's not fitting. Right, guys so this is the piece that i made all i did was drill some holes i measured it out and got this bracket so this top top one right here is going to bolt to the very top of the carrier bearing holder and then it's going to basically just move everything down and so the drive shaft for the front will actually bolt to these bottom two So 
guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. If you guys have any knowledge on the drive shafts, please drop a comment down there. Let me know. I can't find anything online other than Plan B. They're the only ones I've seen out there, and their front drive shaft is like twenty-two hundred bucks plus tax and all that. It'd probably be way more than that. So if you guys have any knowledge on the drive shaft, drive shaft situation, let me know. Otherwise, I'm legit just gonna have to take this to a shop, which I'm, that's probably my best bet, I don't know. You guys tell me if I can find it anywhere. Please let me know, guys. Till next time, take it easy. See you later.